In this video, going over the chapter one review homework sheet. Uh, so for the first question, it's a really nice question. Uh, you have to create your own systems which have one solution, no solutions, and infinite solutions. So of course, the likelihood of our uh, systems being the same is very, very, very low. So if it is, I would say uh, it's a miracle. Anyways, um, th these are my examples. So as long as you make the same equation, same slope, and different slope. Uh, find a solution by graphing. So I didn't want to use my graph paper, but I, I just try to sketch out the solution. Um, so I had I rearranged the equations if they weren't in slope intercept form. And then once I have the slope and inner y intercept, I, I can graph the lines. I did show you the solutions to the system though. Okay. Uh, for question three, they wanted me to solve by substitution. So uh, that's what I did. I solved it by substitution. Um, for 3a, uh, you just have to take the second equation, divide by 2, and isolate for x. For 3b, it's actually x is already isolated, so that was really nice of the question. Uh, for question 4, they want me to solve by elimination, no problem. So I chose to eliminate x for 4a. You could have done differently, but the beautiful thing is we'll both get the same solution. For 4b, you just have to do some expanding and simplifying first, no problem, and then you you can easily solve by elimination. Uh, for 5, I was trying to be a little fa fancy, so I just chose to multiply the first equation by 3 quarters, and then I could uh, I can eliminate m, because I have m over 4, or a quarter m, a quarter m, and I can just subtract the two equations and solve for m, or eliminate m, and solve for n. Um, same with number six. I tried to be a little fancy. I took the first equation and multiplied it by two thirds because then I'll have x over three and x over three. Once again, subtract equations and eliminate x. So our your strategy, your solution might look very different than mine uh, because you most students will just clear the denominators. In fact, if I were to do this question on, in front of the class, I'll clear the denominators first and then eliminate a variable. It's just a lot more steps. And I just want to show students who are comfortable with fractions how you can potentially save yourself some time. Okay. Um, but the good news is our solutions should match up regardless of the way you approach the question. And then for seven, you have uh, some word problems. Just generate the system or write the let statements and generate the Correct the system that will solve your word problem. Okay, uh, I'm going to show you E and F here. So E is a rate problem, F is a, a mixture problem. Question 8 was pretty nice. You have, uh, let's see, you have three systems, sorry, three lines, and if you join them, you're going to have three. Uh, points of intersection or if you graph the three lines you'll see that there are three points of intersection which make up a triangle if you, if you join the um, three points of intersection so they just want to know where the three vertices are which is basically the solutions to um, the linear systems so I took the three systems and I created sorry I took the three equations and generated three systems um, using a different pair every single time. So you only get three different pairs from three linear equations. Anyways, I solved for the, I solved the three systems and I got the three vertices, the three points that make up the vertices. Um, really the first two systems I made were very easy to solve because I just had to let y equals negative two. Okay, well, if one of your lines is horizontal, then um, it makes it very easy to solve that system. Um, the, the third system was not that bad either. It's, it's both in the form of y equals, so substitution was really straightforward. Okay, number nine. Number nine is perhaps my favorite question in this handout because um, for the very first thing I said about this unit was the fact that a linear system is a is you're working with a bunch of, of linear equations at the same time. So we lose that fact, we lose sight of that fact because 
for so many of our examples, we did two equations, two equations, two equations. In fact, almost all of them is two equations. But you can study three linear equations at the same time. Okay? You can study four at the same time. It does matter. You can study an infinite number of linear equations at the same time, and that will make up your linear system. Okay, so uh, it, there are lots of different ways to solve this linear system, but I think this is the, perhaps the most efficient way. I isolated x and y, and I subbed an equation 1 uh, because that will enable me to express equation 1 in terms of z. I solve for z, which will then enable me to solve for x and y. So that was my strategy, but uh, there are lots and lots of ways to do number 9. Okay, so uh, that's all of chapter 1.